Now, it will be a familiar sight to many of you living in our towns and cities. Cars parked on pavements and disabled bays and across junctions. Now, in one part of Birmingham, 33 tickets were issued in just one hour at the weekend. In some cases, vehicles were seized. Amy Cole has the details. Littered with cars. If they're not straddling the curb, then drivers are using the pavement as makeshift car parks. This is Repton Road in Bordesley Green. We try to walk to Pat Wallbanks's house, but are forced off the pavement. She's concerned about the children. See, this car's coming up now. One of them could easily get killed. See what I mean? Yeah, so you have to, like, get in. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, and carry on. Yeah. And when we get to her house, she explains how her driveway is repeatedly blocked. No, I've never known it quite so bad, really, because now sooner one car moves, another one drives in. But instead of parking in the road, sometimes there are three parts on the pavement, and you've got, like, transit vans parked here. And her neighbour can't even use her car sometimes. We wanted to get out because I wanted to go up to the doctor. I had to go out go out onto the road, get a bus to go up to the doctor. Now, that isn't fair. Well, we got our car parked on the front. Over the weekend, West Midlands police issued 33 parking fines in just one hour in this district. Cars, they say, were parked dangerously and were inconsiderate to other residents and road users, such as this Vauxhall parked vertically in a disabled bay. At Alston Primary School, the head teacher is trying to persuade parents to walk their children to school. At the end of the day, I am on the gate sort of asking parents not to just stop in the middle of the road and collect their children, or in the mornings they tend to just stop and just sort of get them out of the car. But actually what they need to do is park up or even better, walk. We have also done this year the Walk to School initiative to try and encourage those parents, especially those that live on the local roads, to try and walk to school and actually leave their cars behind. Half a mile away, more examples of bad parking. First of all, you don't get no space, and then you get inconsiderate parking people, parking the cars vertically on the roads and, you know, half on the drive, half off the drive. You know, you can't even get your buggy around, and it's really bad. Police say bad parking is a widespread problem throughout Birmingham. They're planning to target Small Heath next. Amy Cole, BBC Midlands Today. Well, this is clearly a subject which touches a nerve. Many of you have been in touch about this issue on our Facebook page, some suggesting other areas for the police to target. Here's just a, a sample of them. Ian Smith writes, they've started parking halfway down Mosley Road in Bilston with all four wheels on the path. Could the police please patrol after 6 p.m.? Sam Morris added, what about the cars blocking access to people's homes? It happens and nothing is done. And finally, Andrew Miller, put it simply, stupid is as stupid does. Thanks for all those comments. Now, one of Birmingham's most historic buildings is to be brought back.